Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iOS 17.3 Beta 3. My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hyped. If you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. Now that you are done that, let's get right into this video, shall we? Alright, so iOS 17.3 Beta 3 brings the biggest fix, that is the boot loop issue. A lot of people after installing the beta 2 were having the boot loop issue which is now finally resolved on this update. It is a really must and big update just because of this one fix that it has. The boot loop issue is now finally resolved so in case you are having that issue on your device first of all I would just not recommend you guys to go on a beta if you had that issue earlier and even if you had and still you want to come on a beta software you should definitely install this update because this does not have that boot loop issue that we had on the beta 2 then moving on the next bug which is fixed on the beta 3 is related to notification syncing with apple watch earlier apple watch notification syncing were not working properly you were getting notification first on the apple watch or on the iphone but not getting properly on the apple watch the syncing between apple watch and iphone was not particularly right and apple watch and iphone notification syncing is now finally fixed on this update then the next thing that is new on the ios 17.3 beta 3 is the performance i don't know about the scores because i have not tested the geekbench yet but for sure the scores seems pretty good why because after installing the update i did use my device for about an hour or two and i did some casual gaming and all and after that i noticed that the performance was definitely a little bit better than earlier animations and all just seems a little bit more fluid and faster than the beta 2 for some reason the beta 2 was not the best in terms of performance i was not really getting the best output in terms of performance it was pretty laggy at some times which was very unlikely to see because i never saw that kind of performance on my iphone 14 since the day i got so i was a bit worried about it as well because my phone was getting warm and it was not performing particularly as it should but the beta 3 is definitely a performance improvement as well then talking about the battery life all right so the battery life is something which is a bit too early for me to judge and tell you right now i will let you guys know about the battery life in my follow-up video so you have to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications anyways but right now on the battery point of view i will comment that it feels pretty much the same as the beta 2 beta 2 was not really good or bad in terms of battery life it was pretty average and so is the beta 3 but i guess we just have to wait and watch how it performs as the day goes on talking about the stolen device protection feature that feature does not really seems to be having any new options in it i was expecting apple to add more options in this section but uh, yeah we don't have anything new in the stolen device protection section that's pretty much it for today's video thank you so much for watching this video till the end i haven't really found anything majorly new in terms of features on this update yet but i will keep you guys updated on my youtube so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already i will catch you guys in the very next episode this is me jay aka tech hyped and i am signing off peace out and have a great day everyone